Oh boy. That's the one in the middle that was mm. swollen. Here we go, ready? Okay, boy. There it goes, crack. So I have Daniel here today, and Daniel is a professional horse rider, yeah, right? Yeah, an exercise rider, yeah. Exer so he works at Belmont Park here in New York. He um, trains and rides uh, professional racehorses, mm -hmm. right? Uh, he wants to move back, and he's had some injuries, a lot of injuries. He wants to get back into um, horse racing. Right now he's doing all the training rides, right? Mm -hmm. So do you, do you go like 70% or 90% or how often? A good easy gallop is probably about 24 seconds every 16th of a mile. And now what happened to you? you got your... Uh, I've had a horse headbutt me in Houston. Yeah, and, pull that down. And, and, and then you that, also were kicked in the neck? Yeah, when I was, when I was younger, when I was how 17. Old? I had okay. a horse run me over and kick me in the back of the head and run me over until he stopped. And that, that really messed your neck up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sure. But you've had chronic pain, mm -hmm. and that's been disappointing because you want to make a comeback now, right? Mm -hmm. And you've got pain that's knocking out the power in your legs. Mm -hmm. So is it hard to you to stay yeah, in a it, bent it, position? It, it, it feels like I'm kind of like not even there, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. my body's like, I'm here. The only thing that, that keeps me safe to where I can do it mm -hmm. is... Horses and stuff like that, you go a lot against your instincts. Mm -hmm. So, and I just stay relaxed about it. And, you know, I know the horse is pretty good. I've been riding for a pretty good while, so. Yeah. Let's see what happens when he tries to touch his toes. So you're gonna come down, you're gonna see he gets a little shaky because he has chronic pain. And this guy is would normally be flexible because he's trained as a jockey. And it just gets real tight. And what do you feel? Leg. You feel tightness behind the leg and you feel it pain is, back here? Uh, no, not really. The pain The pain is like from, it's just like a dull feeling. Yeah. Alright, so let's get him face down. We're going to loosen your whole body up right now. This guy's tight. Everything's tight in here. So you've been throwing off horses too? Yeah, I've stayed here, on. Turn, turn your face this way. I, I've had uh, more injuries staying on them than I have coming off. When you got headbutted in the mouth, were you on the horse? Yeah, I was coming up on the track and he reared his head back and she, smacked. She, you. she was she did. kind of a cocky horse and she likes to throw her head and jump in the air. And I just say she was real nice that morning and I should have known better to just pay a little bit more attention to her going on the track. My buddy came up behind me, jogging past me and. She threw her head up as I was saying good morning to him and straightened him back out. And it cracked, 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 cracked you in the right face. Mouth. Yeah. Was I looked down and it was just nothing but blood. Did it knock you off the horse? No. No. I was still trained her. Ooh, you hear a crack just there? I felt something moving. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm one That's jacked up little turkey. I know that. You could feel that one, right? Mm -hmm. And that left muscle in my back, I felt it go out one day. Mm -hmm. This one down here? Like in the middle of my back, you feel how it's all right oh, there, all swollen up. Down right here where it's bumpy. Yeah. So it's all swollen here. Oh. Too strong does that feel pretty good? What do you think? Just do what you want to do, boss man. All right. So how old were you when you first started riding horses? Uh... Probably a couple weeks old. My dad had a pony in the barn. And where'd you grow up? I was raised in Kentucky and throughout Ohio and stuff. Yeah. But he got you on a horse as a little child? Yeah. And I used to ride barrel horses and cutting horses and stuff like that. Oh, so you did rodeo horses and barrel racing? Oh, yeah, when I was younger. And then and any cutting or reining or? Yeah. I ride just about anything you can think of. I rode zebras, ostriches. <laughs> So what's keeping you from riding again in races? Well, just not having, a, not having a balanced, healthy body. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay, bud. There it goes. Crack. There it goes. Pop. All right, so the next thing we're going to do... I'm gonna have you, we gotta release this lower back because you have a rotated L5 and it's pinching a nerve. Mm -hmm. And I think it's cutting down some power in your legs. Yeah. So I need you to lie on your side facing me. 
What was your worst injury ever? Uh, I'd say probably that, that kick to the head. Kick I've had him fall on me a few times. You mean to your neck or to your face? That kicked up my head. He kicked me in the back of the head. Yeah. What What happened was when he stumbled. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, it just cracked. That was my hip. <laughs> yeah, okay. Where, yeah. Wait. Let's do this first. Big breath in. And blow it out. Got it. How was that? Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. Come this way. So you're saying when he kicked you in the head? It, it, the reason he was able to kick me in my head because I landed on my left hip. Mm -hmm. And that's what's made my left hip and my my body so bad on that side. Yeah, which just popped. That's good. There it goes. How'd that feel? Pretty good, bud. <laughs> Pretty good, good, good. Lie on your back. Let's get more on that left hip now, okay? There it goes. All right, come back up on the table a little bit. Oh boy. That's the one in the middle that was mm. swollen. Does that feel good? Oh yeah. <laughs> good. You'll be able to breathe now. <laughs> you're gonna get a big breath in. You're gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Here's another one. That one was stuck for a long time. Here. Now sit up facing that way, okay? Good. Mm. Sit up tall. Big breath in. And blow it out. Wow. How's that feel? Pretty good. Good? Ooh. What do you think? Pretty good so far. All right, good. <laughs> so now we're gonna do Y strap. You're gonna lie on your back. Big breath in and blow it out. <coughs> oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd you notice that? A lot of my neck and then it went down a little, a little past my mid back and then Good. it jumped down in my lower back. That's where you had all the compression. Mm -hmm. Come stand up and touch your toes again, okay? Oh boy. Yeah, you can tell the big difference already. My feet, my feet are doing what I'm telling them to do, you know? Yeah, they're... I'm telling you that three yeah. or four steps before my body would actually work, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, now you can touch them. Mm -hmm. Do you see the difference? Uh, yeah, and I don't feel like tightness in the back of my leg right yeah. there. Yeah. Do you see the difference? Mm -hmm. Lie on your back. Now we're going to do the CFR. You've seen this, right? Yep. Yeah. Pick up your head. This is floppy. Mm -hmm. Floppy gives you something to wrap your hands around, okay? All right, so we're going to do the right nostril first. When I uh, put it in, I'll say open your mouth and close your lips, okay. okay? So here we go. Wow, that nose looks like it's been broken before. Big breath in <coughs> and close. <coughs> oh. You hear a crack? Yep. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's a wild experience, ain't it? Show me where you felt a crack. Where in the face? About right up in here. Yeah. Big breath in and close. <coughs> I won't. Yeah. Was that bigger than the first side? It was a little deeper. It seemed like yeah. Yeah, it went towards your throat, right? Yep. Did you hear cracks? Mm-hmm. All right. Come sit up. See how you feel. You're gonna swing your legs this way. Was that crazy? That's pretty nice, wasn't it? It was good, right? Yeah. Would you ever do it again, or you go, no way, that's crazy? Oh, it's it's, it's going to help me breathe. Yeah. You're supposed to breathe through your nose anyway. Yeah, we're supposed to Especially athletes. when you're being an athlete. Yeah, athletic. you're an athlete, yeah. Just keep that mouth closed. And, and get into that zone, right? Being, being somebody with your mouth wide open, you know, just... That ain't no good for yeah. you. Yeah. You and know. horses can perceive stress. Yeah. So the more relaxed you can be the better and, and my, it is and with my body it gets tight and I can't like relax good enough sometimes to do certain things for them mm -hmm. and they feel that well thank you so much everyone I appreciate it <coughs> oh boy yeah <laughs> where'd you notice that a lot of my neck and then it went down a little past my mid back 
and then it jumped down in my lower back. That's where you had all the compression. Mm -hmm.